Yes, they were all labor surgeries. They were a little bit more extensive than a regular. Like I said, I'll help you now. And, uh, you know, it's a great question. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm honestly uh, not too sure. You know, it's great right now. Um, you know, just being able to get out there and continue to participate and, you know, feel good. So, it's been, it's been a blessing so far. I'm just excited to see you. Who's hardline said? Who's hardline said? Uh, you know, definitely coming from a you know a small town, a small football town, and running the hell where we see offense or receiver on the field is definitely not ideal coming into college. So uh, I think one of the hardest things my freshman year was just coming in and learning, uh, you know, signals for plays and things like that, um, alignments, work on the top end, which I never did a top end, we learned a specific way that we do that. So it was definitely a big learning curve. But, uh, you know, now I feel really confident. How was your leadership development? Yeah, you know. Um, I really felt like my first two years, I couldn't really develop as a leader much, you know, just based off my injuries and stuff, and I wasn't contributing the way I wanted to. But in um, the past two years, I feel like I, I kind of uh, I'm starting to grow into my leadership role and continue to uh, you know, excel at it. You know, I'm an older, older dude in the uh, receiver right now, so I feel like a lot of young kids need someone, you know, someone to look up to, somebody who's been through it, you know, somebody who's been through, you know, not having things go their way all the time. I guess, how was that a good adversity just as a person? Yeah, so there's, uh, you know, obviously there's no growth without adversity, so, uh, you know, just going through, through uh, certain things, and then, uh, like I said, having things not always go my way is definitely made me stronger as a person, I feel stronger mentally, definitely, so, you know, I'm just excited to work. Yeah, it's good. It's a lot of pressure yeah, you know, sometimes you just have to kind of throw away people's expectations. You know, I was the number one recruit according to a website. So, you know, everybody expects different things. Some people expect a lot, some people didn't expect too much. But, you know, I just it's always expected me to be myself and, uh, and uh, constantly just improve in every aspect of life. Uh, I feel like I was 100%, you know, coming in to really send the workouts. Uh, I forget when I exactly I had surgery, whatever it was. But uh, you know the rehab was great. We have the best training staff in the country here, so they uh, you know, they took it took it pretty easily. But you know we had to ramp it up and ramp it up, and yeah. it's been uh, you know it's been a really really good rehab. What did you focus on this offseason to prepare yourself to be a different receiver or better receiver? The thing I've really been focused on is health. You know, just constantly taking care of my body the best that I can, coming in here, getting all the extra treatment, getting all the extra work that I possibly can to stay healthy and constantly be able, you know, be able to be available. You know, Coach Harlow always talks about the best ability of being available, so that's one of the things I work on the most. Julian, has this process with the quarterbacks allowed you to build the connection you need with both of these guys? Here we don't. Has the process with the quarterbacks that's been playing out, has that allowed you to build the connection that you need with both of those guys, and, and how so? Yeah, I think so. Uh, obviously, we have two really, really good quarterbacks. You know, one came in from PA, one from Arizona, and I think they both excel. You know, pretty much everything. You know, they're really good. Uh, CJ, you know, it's hard to follow up, but I think they're both going to do really, really well. Does it feel different when either one of them is in the practice scenarios where you guys are scrimmaging, whatever? Is there a distinct difference between those two guys? Um, I don't know. I honestly think, like I said, I think they're both really, really good quarterbacks. They both excel at different things, and they honestly are both going to be first round draft picks in the future if they continue to work the right way and continue to do everything the right way. So, you know, great kids. I love them both. So, we'll see what happens. Charlie, when you have a, a receiver room like you guys have with as many veterans that you have, what can a room like that do for a new quarterback? No, no matter who the quarterback is. Yeah, we always talk about, you know, we got to make a difference. So, if that's getting open a second earlier, if that's running your route a second faster, if that's making a 50-50 catch, you know, 50-50 catch should be 70-30 in our receiver room. So, that's kind of how we look at it. How much is a uh, the new talent that rolls into that room every year. How much does that serve from a motivation standpoint for Road to have Geo? You know I mean? Is it every day is no day off? How would you explain that? Yeah, there's definitely no days off in their season. We had a ton of young kids coming with a ton of talent, and uh, you know, sky's the limit for them. But you know, everybody comes in, everybody comes in ready to work, everybody comes in trying to take somebody's spot. So you know, that's kind of just something to keep behind them. Can you explain the ethic that's been developed in that room from the standpoint of that? Uh, was it there when you showed up here? I mean, and and how has it, got, I guess, gotten bigger? Is, is the 
couple years have gone along. Yeah, I would say it's been there before I even got there. You know, the expectation uh, in zone six and a lot of receiver room here is catch every ball, make every play, because of what the difference on the offensive side of the ball. So, uh, you know, we want to come in, like I said, we're going to make every single play. We're going to make it easy on the quarterbacks, make it easy on the o linemen, and just do everything that we can in our power. That would be great as a team. If, uh, if Ryan went with a two-quarterback set to start the season, would that, you think, have an effect on you personally, if not maybe the rest of the team? Uh, no, I don't think Coach uh, you know, Coach is going to make a great decision regardless. You know, he's the head dude here, and he's always going to the program great, so nobody's really going to question it. I don't think it's going to have that much of an effect on anybody in the receiver unit, O-line unit, defensive unit, or anything like that. You think it would be pretty seamless? Like, let's say, you know, Kyle comes in the first quarter, and Devin's second quarter, maybe even alternate drives. You don't think that that would have much of an effect on the rest of you guys? No, I don't think it would. Like I said, they're two great quarterbacks and two great kids, and they always put their head down, and they always do all the hard work. So I'm excited for both of them. Rocky. Yeah, uh, I mean, you kind of know how it went a lot. A couple of bumps and bruises here and there, a couple of injuries that kind of sidelined me for a little bit. But, you know, it's been great. And uh, like I said earlier, there's no growth without adversity. If you can't grow through your adversity, then, you know, obviously this is not going to be the place for you. What kind of expectations you Right now, the goal is on. Indiana first game, so I, I don't really have any self expectations right now. You know, I just want to win, and uh, you know, I want the team to be, be everything that we you know work to be. Too. When you when you are healthy, when you're yourself, how would you describe like what you do best as a receiver? Um, I mean, I'm pretty big, I'm pretty physical, pretty fast. Um, I don't know. I feel like I bring kind of different attributes depending, like I said, on my health. Yeah, I guess you guys see it. But um, I, I always feel like size and speed have been my biggest advantages. Um, you know, DBs aren't always the biggest. I'm a little bit bigger than them usually, but you know, just being able to come out and be a playmate. Does how much does being healthy allow you to be even more physical? Like you said, you see, you seem to have that ability. But I would imagine, you know, it's like shoulder stuff, right? Maybe you you couldn't have been all of that at times. Yeah, you know, there's definitely some issues with my shoulders, and I dislocated them a bunch of different times. Which nobody really ever knew about, but it just kind of happened, and pop it back in, and you keep going. So. Um, so you know, hopefully with some screws and everything going on in there, that will stay in place and we'll be good to go. Did you have times in games where, like, your shoulders would pop out and you'd be like, have you played when you had trouble, like, lifting your arms up or anything, you know what I mean? Like, and yet you're trying to catch footballs? Yeah, no, it's happened before. It happened, you know, it happened a lot in practice. There's nothing I can do about it. There's no more damage I can do to it. So it's just kind of playing through pain and playing through your pain tolerance. But how can you catch a football if you can't lift your arms? Got to figure it out one way or the other. You can do that it's great. All good now, yeah, we're all, we're all set. You talk about your speed. Have you ever ran a 40? Here? No. Just in general? Yeah. When's the, when was your time? In high school. Time? I'm a low, low 4-1, or low 4. Okay. Low 4. Um, right now, I'm not sure what I run, so we'll see. How did that impact your ability to make contested catches? We're talking about, like, you know, your arm, trying to, you know, how physical it can be. Yeah, it definitely had a little bit of an effect, but it's no excuse mentality. You know, plays I didn't make, I didn't make it. So I'm not complaining about having bad shoulders or anything like that. Uh, during fall camp, favorite favorite snack, you know, you know, it's tiring day. What's your go-to snack? My go-to snack? Yep. It is a chocolate chip muffin in the microwave with vanilla ice cream on it. How much time in the microwave? Uh, 30 seconds in the microwave. I started sugar during camp. <laughs> Appreciate you guys.